Today we're going to be taking a look at a 7-in-1 USB-C hub made by iHapper. This hub packs quite a few features, starting with a Thunderbolt 3 Type-C port that can output 5K video at 60Hz Ultra HD. That port can also be used for power delivery charging at 100 watts. It can also be used to transfer data at 40 gigabits per second. It has an HDMI port that can output 4K HD at 30 hertz. It has three USB 3.0 ports. It has an SD card reader and a micro SD card reader, and it's designed for Apple MacBook Pros 2016, 2017, and 2018 models. With that being said, let's go ahead and run that intro video and jump right into the unboxing. Hey there, my name is Adrian with ProjectRamos.com and DealsByPR.com. On this channel, I do tech reviews, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Looks like we get a nice carrying pouch has the company name right here, iHapper. Real nice touch. In the package, we also get the user manual. And here's the USB-C hub. It has the company name right there, the company logo. There's two USB-C ports that will plug into your uh, MacBook Pro. So they're evenly spaced out so that it lines up perfectly with the MacBook Pro. On the other side is all the ports. Let's start with the pass-through charging port. We have the three USB ports. We have the SD card reader and the micro SD card reader. And it looks like on this side we have the um, HDMI port. And it looks like we also have an LED indicator light right here. All right. So the top half is made of aluminum and it looks like the bottom half is probably made out of plastic. So plastic on the bottom and aluminum up on top. And it looks like it's a, a space gray uh, color to match the MacBook Pros. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this uh, USB-C hub in and see what kind of performance we can get out of the ports. To help us test the ports out on the iHapper USB-C hub, I have my Western Digital four terabyte portable hard drive that connects via USB 3.0. I have a micro SD card and also the SD adapter. I have a 29 inch ultra wide LG monitor that connects via HDMI and I also have my Apple charger to test the um, pass-through charging port. So let's go ahead and start with the USB 3.0 connection. As Soon as I plug in the USB-C hub, it snaps right into place. So we're gonna try the first port on the hub. And it just showed up on our computer here, on our MacBook Pro. I have a 2.65 gigabit file that we're gonna test the transfer rate with. We're gonna use my iPhone to time how quickly it can move that file from the hard drive to the desktop. Okay, I've got my file here, and as soon as I let it go, I'm gonna start the timer. And it just finished transferring, and it took 29 seconds. So we're gonna plug in the next port and do the same thing again. So now I'm plugging it into the next port. So we're gonna take the same file, 2.65 gigabit file and transfer it over to the desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset the, the timer here. So we're back to zero and here we go. Same exact time, 29 seconds. All right, now we're gonna plug in the hard drive into the third port and see what kind of performance we get there. We're gonna go ahead and reset the, uh, the time here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the file. And pretty much the same performance. 30 seconds here, but 
it was shy by 0.05. It was more than likely 29 seconds. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna test out is the micro SD port. So we've got our micro SD card here. We're just gonna plug it right into the port or the reader, I should say. Okay, card is now in and it showed up immediately. Here it is here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and eject it. And now we're gonna slide it into the SD adapter. Put the card in and it shows up immediately. It's right here. Next, we're gonna test out the uh, HDMI port. So I've got my HDMI cord here. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it into the back of the hub. There we go. And there it is there. You got an image. Very sharp. Next thing we're gonna test is we're gonna unplug the monitor and plug it back in and see if we could get it to fire up. It's unplugged. Now we're gonna plug it back in. And there it is there, fired right back up. All right. Next part that we're gonna plug in is the power port. And I've got the uh, power cable here. As soon as I plug it in, if, if it, uh, once it begins to charge the laptop, it will make, uh, it will chime. And there it is there, started charging. So all ports are working as expected. As far as the hub is concerned, it does fit very flush on right uh, onto the laptop. So there's no like uh, weird spacing there. You know, fits on there fairly snug. And when you uh, plug this in, it does snap into place. So as you can hear there, it snaps it in place. And as soon as it's plugged in, you can see that the LED light illuminates to let you know that it's uh, connected. And as far as the color is concerned, my uh, laptop is space gray and the USB-C hub is fairly close uh, as far as the color goes. Not sure if you can catch that on the camera there, but it's pretty close to the space gray color. That's gonna complete our test of the iHapper 7-in-1 USB-C hub. First, let's talk about the performance of the connections on this hub, starting with the USB 3.0 ports. All three ports performed exactly the same. They were able to transfer our 2.65 gigabit file in 29 seconds. and as far as all the hubs that we've tested on this channel, that has been the fastest performance we've been able to get when we move that file from the hard drive, the external portable hard drive to our desktop. 29 seconds has been the best. That's exactly what this hub uh, was able to perform at. So performance wise, it moves files very quickly. All the other ports, the pass-through charging port, um, the micro, SD card reader and the SD card reader and the HDMI port. They all performed as expected. They all work. Uh, the HDMI port, we were, uh, we were able to unplug the monitor and plug it back in and get it to fire up um, uh, a second time. So we plug it in once, fires up, unplug it, plug it back in, fires up again. The reason I bring that up is that with some of these USB-C hubs, you might run into that issue where when you first plug in an external monitor into HDMI port, you know, it will work as expected, but if you unplug it and plug it back in, the image might not come up again. Uh, you might have to unplug the hub, plug it back in, then plug in the HDMI port. So that's just something to keep in mind. Next, let's talk about the construction of this USB-C hub. Um, it's made of aluminum, very premium feeling. And during our test, it was able to dissipate heat very well. It never got warm to the touch at all. So even though we were uh, testing every single port on this hub, it, it never got warm. The fact that it has two USB-C connections to the laptop, what that um, offers aside from performance on the, uh, on the ports, it also offers stability. So when you plug this into the laptop, it keeps it very snug and flush onto the end of the, la of the uh, laptop. 
What you'll experience is if you buy one of these hubs that only have one USB-C connection, um, it's not going to be very stable, you know, as far as it being flush next to your laptop. It's not a big deal, but um, I personally um, think that some people might uh, find that concerning if the hub is moving around uh, a little bit. But this one with two USB connections, it's going to hold it fairly firm right next to your laptop and flush. Next, let's talk about the color of this USB-C hub. Uh, it's pretty close to the space gray color of the MacBook Pro. So once you do have this plugged in, it's gonna look real nice, almost like an extension to your laptop. Now let's talk about the million dollar question. Is this USB-C hub worth your hard earned money? It sells for $39.97 on Amazon. Um, it's designed for the Apple MacBook Pro 2016, 2017, 2018 models, being that it has two USB uh, connections that are evenly spaced to fit those uh, MacBook Pro models. The color of it closely matches the space gray color of those MacBook Pros. I think it's worth the money. All of the ports that you get on this are all the common ports that you might need um, when uh, you're dealing with other um, peripherals that you need to connect to your laptop. The USB 3.0 ports perform very well. It transfers uh, files very quickly. So I do think that it's worth the money. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you pick one of these up. As always, if you found some value in this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you were to subscribe. That way you get notified when we upload new videos. And on that note, I will see you on the next review.